Right, three, two, one, go. So here we go. 20.3, number two, well, take two. Me versus Dan, or me against Dan. Um, we both knew that Dan was going to win this workout. Because he's better handstand push ups and his deadlift is pretty decent. Um, for me, I didn't want to, I can go hot out of the gates, but I didn't want to go too hot because my deadlifts are good. However, my handstand push ups aren't so good. So, even though you might see that I'm ahead of Dan right now, that slowly, that lead slowly starts to de deteriorate. Um, thankfully, this time, I kept my composure on the handstand push ups and didn't legit, legit go to failure because you saw it in the last time, the first time I did it, sorry. I legit went to failure in the <laughs> probably the, f the first set of 21 because I thought I, I can do 777. Seven. This time I did 7, I believe it was 4 or 5, then slowly crept down after that. Right, you see the difference? You see the difference between man and Daniel's kip. He's got a little kip because so, he can do little strict tees, strict hands and push ups. I can't do strict hands and push ups because I've, well, I can, but not very lot. Not a lot, so I've got to rely on my big kit to push me out of the hole. Right, see, shorter arms. Well, his forearms is the same size as mine, 40 inch. But obviously, his bicep and tricep must not be as long as mine. Um, so, tactics for me in this workout: get through it, <laughs> get through. Um, I can't remember what the hero what is of this 2159 is. Get through that. Oh, 2159 handstand push-ups and deadlifts at 102 kilos, and then. Smash through the deadlifts and get on handstand walks. I didn't want to blow myself out on the deadlifts so that my heart rate would spike for the handstand push-ups because that's where I wanted to kind of conserve my energy for the handstand push-ups. So don't go too ham on the deadlifts even though they kind of have beat space for me. So again, I could do them unbroken, but that's just a good idea if you can't do it, if you're not the best at handstand push-ups. Um, uh, right, this time around, I rested a lot longer in between my sets of handstand push-ups. Last time I'd like kick down probably fail a few and then I'd literally take five seconds to kick back up whereas this time I, I legit was like it's weird how this kind of felt like a training piece like a training session for me because kind of composing myself and not going ham allowed me to get get more reps if you know what I mean and not blow up kind of second 10 maximum 15 second rest in between my handstand push-ups so I wanted to save myself for the last set of nine where so that I could kind of leave a bit in the tank but I feel like even now, looking back, I did leave a bit too much in the tank on the last set of nine handstand push-ups as well as the deadlifts because I didn't realise that um, after the nine handstand push-ups, sorry, no, after the 21 deadlifts at the 143 kilos, that, that you took the time from that. So I kind of, you saw me, you're going to see me do a few reps of singles because I thought, oh, I'm going to save myself an handstand walk. <clears throat> Uh, this time around I changed my shoes, I, show, I chose some lighter shoes, these are kind of like my running, very light training shoes. But the only problem with these, they are like, they're kind of like a sock, so as you come down the wall, my, I could feel my shoes start to come off. Which well, kind of scared me, I was going to think of, halfway through I was thinking of changing my shoes. But obviously I'd waste time tying my laces, so I thought, forget it, I was going to get through the workout. <laughs> um, and obviously this time I'd, I used a mat, so even if I did crash on the way down, I kind of the mat kind of protected me, and I measured myself standing on the mat. Um, me personally, for most of the, of the open, I'm going to be redoing all the workouts. I have a Friday, like doing the workout on Friday or Saturday, then redoing it Monday. <laughs> because for me, I'm, I'm I sign up for strength and depth from I don't know um, the individual basically for the elite category, and the margin for error in that for me right now is pretty slim. Um, Chances of me making it for the top 10 UK is very sly right now because you've got people like Phil Huskiff in there, Zach George, Josh Alshama, David Schrunke and a few of athletes, Mitch, uh, Sam Wright, uh, Mikey Steele and a few of athletes I'm not sure of. But yeah, I'm kind of on, on the rim, I think I'm like 11th or 12th. But if Phil Huskiff has come back to England to ruin my chances of making it anyway. But we go again. Um, for me, that kind of let me down was the... 20.2 I was hoping for at least another 30 reps in the tank or 30 to 50 reps in the tank for a 20.2 but unfortunately I bottled it and only got two more reps but it was better than better than going slower um, and I got four rounds and six reps five reps sorry 
So resting again on handstand push ups. <coughs> where, thankfully, in this one, I think I did two, twice where I kicked up and missed the board. Regular occurrence for me. And there was one no rep where I didn't get on the line. In fact, no, yeah, I got on the line, but I didn't. My feet didn't touch the wall, so obviously that's a no rep. Down onto the 143 kg deadlifts. Yeah. <clears throat> Making them look very heavy, mate. <laughs> Annie just being Annie. <laughs> Shout out to all the vegans. Vegan. And I think it's weird because, like, every time I've read on a workout, there's not been as many people around, and I've kind of been. It's not kind of looking down on people supporting me in the workout. But I love that. Then somehow I feel like when it's more low key, I kind of get a workout done better. I don't know, but then to the end, when the people are shouting, it's kind of better. Whereas this is a workout where you legit, for me, in my opinion, even if I did have people around, it's not going to push me because my handstand push ups are the weakness and it's a skill, skill movement. And no one's going to push me on a skill movement compared to like 20.1, 20 20.2, they're kind of like grunt work, going ham, especially 20.1, whereas this is just. Skill work and sh skill work and strength. <laughs> she got a strong back and strong glutes. You're gonna do good in this. So I think this is the last set of nine. Dan's just started um, his midway through his twenty ones. Then he got into his handstand walks. Um, I'm asking for a belt, even though I didn't need one. I think it's more of a psychology. I should just forget about the belt. That kind of wasted me about ten to twenty seconds of asking for a belt, putting it on, put, putting it back down. You'll see after these handstand push-ups. These are probably my best handstand push-ups the whole workout. For some weird reason, I don't know why. <clears throat> but for me, my kind of handstand push-ups, if you ever used to see me on Instagram, in fact, I never put any of my handstand push-ups because I was awful at them. But I used to really flare my ribs out because my lack of mobility in my shoulders. See another number up there. Um, lack of mobility in my shoulders uh, make me force my chest out, which obviously reduces the amount of distance you are no sorry reduces the distance so i picked the belt up chucked it, chucked it back down i didn't really need it gotta use the bounce dog but i don't bend my arms unlike some people my taz and the dean doing bicep curls on his deadlifts but thankfully he doesn't get no rep for it <laughs> i used to hate um crossfit deadlifts like touch and go ones i used to just do straight kind of powerlifting deadlifts where you do a do a deadlift drop it but when you're racing against someone in CrossFit, you realise you got to go fast or go home. Um, yeah, so um, I didn't realise that Linus was trying to push me to get a quicker time on my deadlifts. Because obviously, if, imagine if someone's... Oh, I'll tell him I'm scoring out. i got um, a, a, rep, a rep on the handstand walks. Imagine if someone's got a rep on the handstand walks, same as me. I looked at the, the, the open leaderboard earlier. And there's at least, like, legit 40 people that got three handstand walks and like 30 people that got two handstand walks like sections and there's i didn't see how many people got the same as me but obviously if i push harder on the on the deadlifts i could have probably increased my comparison in in regards to people that were that did the same rep scheme reps as me sorry because those to me weren't that hard i could have spent a little bit of time warming up i was a bit too cocky in my head I kind of warmed up my shoulders a bit, um, a bit too much and then didn't, really, didn't think about my deadlifts. I think I got one, one more, I think. Uh, yeah. And I casually walked over to some walks. I thought I had a minute and something left. Then I start walking fast. Why are you walking fast? And then I exposed myself. That's the answer what was good. And then there, I trapped my finger like a Spider Man. Kind of like clenched my fist as a Spider Man thing. And then I couldn't walk. Because my um, middle finger and my the pink the finger next to my little finger kind of curled up on the mat, I wasn't going nowhere. But I'm happy with that. I set out to try and get um, at, onto the handstand walks, and it and it happened. So I'm happy about that. Looking forward to 20.4. I'm hoping for some muscle ups, please. But obviously, everything that's happened now, no one's expected. So on to 20.4. Hopefully Dan will not bottle it and actually oh my God. do the Spine. workout with me again. See you next week, people. Man is six foot off. Six foot. Which is just on those legs there. Just at this ridge here. 
My chalk lines are out there. If he went over it like that. Right. Finish. Yeah. So I'm stopping now.